latitudes and longitudes latitudes and longitudes are imaginary lines that help us to determine the location and the direction of any place on the globe what is a globe a globe is a spherical model of earth due to the spherical shape of the earth it becomes very difficult to locate a place on it we can easily locate a place on flat surface with reference to another place but on a spherical object like the earth which has neither corners and sides nor top and bottom it is a complicated task Every point on a spherical object is like any other point. Therefore, in order to locate a place on the surface of the earth, we have to develop some methods or techniques. So, how should we proceed? What if we mark certain points of reference and lines on the globe? Great idea, isn't it? Then let us draw some imaginary lines or points on the globe. First of all, we will draw a line on which the earth rotates. This line is called an axis of the earth. The end point of the axis of the earth are called the poles. The pole which points towards the pole star is called the north pole. The other is the south pole. The two poles can be used as two fixed points. One thing you need to note that the axis is an imaginary tilted line. It is not a straight line. Now let us divide the earth into two equal parts by drawing an imaginary line midway between the north pole and the south pole. This line circles the earth and we call it the equator. As it divides the earth into two equal parts or hemispheres. The part of the earth which is towards the north pole is called the northern hemisphere. The part of the earth which is towards the south pole is called the southern hemisphere. Hence we have the following references for describing the location of a place on the surface of the earth. The north pole, the south pole and the equator. Now let us draw some more imaginary lines parallel to the equator. All these lines are called parallels of latitudes. Latitudes are measured in degrees. The equator represents the zero degree latitude and the north pole and south pole are marked as 90 degrees north and 90 degrees south respectively. But why? Let me tell you. Look at this globe here. You can see that the distance from the equator to the north pole is one fourth of a circle that rounds the earth. Or you can say one fourth of 360 degrees, that is 90 degrees. Similarly, in the southern hemisphere, the distance from the equator to the south pole is one fourth of a circle that rounds the earth. Or you can say one fourth of 360 degrees, that is 90 degrees. Thus, 90 degrees north latitude marks the north pole and 90 degrees south latitude marks the south pole. All parallels north of the equator are called north latitudes. Similarly, all parallels south of the equator are called south latitudes. The value of each latitude is therefore followed by either the word north or south. Generally, this is indicated by the letter N or S. It helps us to locate a place in the northern and southern hemisphere. For example, both Chandrapur in Maharashtra and Belo Horizonte in Brazil 
are located on parallels of about 20 degrees latitude but they are situated in different hemisphere. Chandrapur is 20 degrees north of the equator whereas Belo Horizonte is 20 degrees south of it. Thus, we can say that Chandrapur is situated at 20 degrees north latitude and Belo Horizonte is situated at 20 degrees south latitude. Hope this is clear to you. Now let us know the important characteristics of parallels. First, the equator is the largest circle. The length of the other parallels decreases as we move away from the equator on either side towards the poles. Second, all parallels are complete circles except 90 degrees north pole and south pole which are points. Third, the distance between any two parallels at an interval of 1 degree on the surface of the earth is about 111 kilometers. I hope all these points are clear to you. Now let us end today's class here. In the next video, we will learn about longitudes. Hope you found my video interesting. Do like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more such interesting videos. Thank you everyone.